Good morning from Cathedral Rock in Sedona. I, I can't, I mean, it's hard to take all of this in. It is just amazing. Majestical. I mean, to wake up to a view like that, coming from Minnesota, and like I said, just flat ground, um, it is just, I mean, look at all those. I'm going to turn the camera around so I can get a closer view of that. So, you know, it's funny, I am afraid of heights, but as far as like being up here, maybe I'm getting used to it. Uh, I told Donna, so I'm gonna make her drive <laughs> at least for the first week, but um, that maybe then I'll get acclimated to being on the roads and being up high. Cause this doesn't scare me. I think maybe being over a sheer cliff, well, and being in the road trek is a whole other beast. But, um, so yeah, I, 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 there's no words. I mean, I don't even know. So if you haven't been here, if you've been here, you know the magic. A lot of you have commented who live here or who have come here. Uh, no wonder they say there's magic here. I feel it. And um, if you haven't been here, highly recommend. So today we are going, uh, I can't wait to show you where we're going today. Um, Donna called it the fun store. So I will show you what the fun store is and it's I think gonna be a lot of fun. So I am going to take this in. We're gonna take a little hike this morning and I will see you soon. Okay, I and what are the chances? I'm up on uh, Cathedral Rock and I run into two Canadians, eh? Yes. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, I'm Don. Don and Connie. Don and Connie. Yes. And guess what they drive? We're driving a 2014 Road Trek CS. That we purchased Adventurous. A, yes, <laughs> that we purchased about three years ago. And yes. uh, we've put, uh, so we're Canadians, so we're in kilometers, so we've put over 100,000 kilometers on it. Oh my gosh. Which is yeah. probably 60 some thousand miles in the last three years and we're enjoying it very much. Yes, we've been all over. We were in the Yukon this this summer for almost two months. Oh my gosh. And we could not get into Alaska because we're Canadians, right? We The borders were cro closed, closed, but mm -hmm. we got as far as the Alaska border up the Alaskan highway. Beautiful trip there too, but it's beautiful here. It's so. gorgeous, yeah. And so we're enjoying you were kind of telling me what the background was, like why, oh, why we started we did to this? do this. Yeah. Well, we, I worked 40 years in a small little office space, didn't mm -hmm. really see the world, was on that rat race, raised three kids, worked full time, and now I'm enjoying life with my husband, and mm -hmm. it's it's an amazing, I've had the best times of my life, even though raising my kids were yeah. wonderful, but this has just been super to get off that rat race, be a bit more minimalistic in our thinking mm -hmm. and it's been and what did you say too about how you wish you would have done it sooner oh i do yes i wish i would have done this sooner i waited till i was i was 57 when we i retired and um what about I, you Don? i regret that um yeah. i no regrets on retiring it's a yes. big thing to yep. walk away from a, a good job yep. Yep. and a career mm -hmm. yes. and to to say well that's it we're done yeah but um it worked out way better than we thought yeah um no regrets at all yeah well and it's scary because that's what i hear like oh i want to do this you know you're giving me the encouragement you know oh, yes. so it is scary it is but yeah. once you do it no regrets it, right. we were anxious a little bit yeah until we got through a year of seeing how the finances yes. would work and so on but it was easy to to cut our spending we because yeah. you're both working you spend more yeah we got rid of one car we're not driving as yeah. much etc yeah. and uh 
you don't know how your health is going to be, so there's never a good time yep. to, uh, That's what we were talking about. to yep. Yep. you know, wait until such and such because yep. you, that day might not come. So. Yep. And we're enjoying each other. Uh, there is life after kids and work and a career. Yeah. I, I just, yeah. I didn't think that. You get your life I, back. That's I think kind I got my life back. Right. Yes, yes. Exactly. Yeah. And got off that. you <laughs> accomplished all that, like raising a kid or yeah. children. Yeah. I mean, like you said, that's the biggest accomplishment. Yes. And you're like, okay, they're good citizens. They're great kids, you know. Oh, yes. I mean, our I youngest mean, just graduated. She's a vet. Yeah. She just, she's a veterinarian. And your job is never done. <laughs> yeah. But then they get to be adults themselves. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, and they're doing fine. Yep. They're fine them. without us. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're yeah, fine. you think that they need you yeah. and you're like, oh, maybe I needed them and now I'm okay yeah. and it's like yep. fun now. They stop and they check on the cats and yep. the house <laughs> yeah. and yep. let us know what's going on. So, yeah. Yeah, yep. It's, it's yeah. just great. And the, the pace is great. We, yeah. we don't plan. We don't know where we're staying tonight oh. uh, because that's we're my our, way of doing it. Uh, yep. Self-contained van. Yep. We can go for a couple of days without, right. you know, Plugging anything. Yeah. No power. Yeah. Yep. We don't need to plug it in or anything. Yep. It, it's yep. just a, a nice relaxed way of traveling. traveling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unplanned. With no. a toilet in there. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We have everything. Toilet, toilets are good. <laughs> yep. okay. We have heated floors. So we had heated a Heated floors are good. Yeah. All well, of those things. And that's Warm what bed. I want to say next. So they're going to actually show me the inside of their van. So yeah, yeah. let's go look because I'm I'm intrigued because I have a 2001. So I want to see between a 2001 and a 2014 what the differences oh, are. Yes. So, yeah, so let's do it. Let's yeah, do let's it. go do yeah. it. Do you have a name for your road trek? Just no. no. Oh. No, we, we decided not to. I don't well, know. We don't. Wow, I love all like the windows and stuff. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Okay, let's. Uh, let's see. So we have wow. an expecting company that you can so, yeah. <laughs> You should really unlock it first. Yep, that helps. This is beautiful. Did you think about a sprinter? Why did you pick a road track? Uh, originally, we were looking at all other ways of doing things with uh, trailers, trucks, uh -huh. everything. Campers, trucks. And uh, we kind of stumbled on this. Oh my God! Private deal. <gasps> Oh, there's we, the lagoon. We looked at oh, you it. have a lagoon table too. Yeah, we looked at uh, this and it seemed to fit the bill. And we liked the guy oh. that, uh, and his wife who was selling. She's gonna video. I'm just going to, yeah, show. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. There's, there's the new sink we put in. Oh, yeah. She so, wanted to be able to wash your wash hair. hair. Yeah. Here, wash my hair. Oh, and I love that. Oh, uh, there's the dirty dishes. Oh, that's okay. We all understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this beautiful uh, thing. Oh, and you have... Did you put that in here or was it, it in here? It came with an induction, yes, okay. it did. Right, but we've new. upgraded. The whole thing is new. The whole we thing is put new. new counters on it. Yeah. Oh, and you guys have, what's, so you have the this is a bathroom, bathroom and shower. And then this is a closet too? No, it's it's all bathroom. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, because I have a closet there. Oh, so no, it's all bathroom. There's the bed. It's nice and so dark in here. Yeah, it's <laughs> trying to find a way to yeah. maneuver it. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> I don't know see. how clean it is. Sure. That's okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's, and there's oh. a shower up there. See, oh yeah, this is a whole, got it. Yeah. My, my toilet goes forward. Oh, okay. Do you know so. what I mean? And then the shower just hooks up. Oh. And then I have like space on the side over here. Okay. So, yeah. but this so is this amazing. We kind of, we keep oh, it. Oh yeah. yeah. I love to have the light coming in. Yeah. So and we then, have it closed off right now because it gets cool at night. So yeah. Like, we just put some stuff, like some right. styrofoam stuff. In Was there. that with it back there? What's back there? Is uh, that... That's just the door. And we put a, we put an actual like clock out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's very good because that door gets Is cold. that your air conditioner? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's nice that there's a full air conditioner. I mean, yeah. it doesn't take long to get cool in here. No, it doesn't. So. And then the same with the heat because the floors are heated. Yep. Oh, and your floors are heated. Yeah. It is amazing. Last night we slept in the desert and we woke up. I was warm and toasty. Toasty, and yep. It was, it was, Did you put the heat in or was no, it No, that in? came. That was an Aldi system. Okay. And it came with the road track. So we did not install that. Wow. But it, that was. Do you find that you have enough? I mean, there's two people in here, enough room like to have your stuff. Absolutely. And, I like yeah. it because you can stand up. Right. We have lots of cupboard space. Right, yep. And we're outside so much. I was going to say, that's what I love about traveling like this. Yes. 
you don't even want to be in the road no. track or in your van. No. The whole point is to be out exploring yes. and it's to sleep at night or make food or something like that. And you've that. got the comfort of your own bed, yep. your own bathroom, yep. your own, yep. I'm cooking, I love yep. to cook. Yep. We have our little lagoon table. Yeah, they have a lagoon table too. I love my and lagoon table. Around. Yep. And so, yep. it's just, we're loving it. It's amazing. Really well, I'm this. so glad we, uh, I ran into you. I mean, this will be nice great. Every you. everybody on the YouTube, like you know, <laughs> now it's just more. I think affirmation. Yes. That it's scary to start, mm -hmm. but once you start, there's no regrets. No. I I mean, when we bought this, we said, "What did we just do? We spent yeah. more on this <laughs> than we too. did on our first house." Yeah. You know, because we we've, yep. we've had a yep. house for a long time. Yep. And. We've never regretted that expense. No. It's changed our lives. Yeah, it really it's has. For the better. For the better. Yeah. Yes, for the better. So, I yeah. I encourage anyone who's thinking this yeah. way and afraid, just do it. Just jump. You'll yep. never regret it. All right. Well, so nice to meet you guys. <laughs> hey everyone. So I got a little quiet time. Um, Donna had to go uh, to an appointment and do a couple things. So kind of nice uh, got some downtime here a little quiet time I'm trying to catch up on things um, I'm so old school that I still keep check registers and it's making me anxiety ridden to know that I haven't updated them in you know a little bit here so that is what I'm gonna do after I make this video but I just wanted to sit down and um, let you know Thank you for all the support still. And it's been such a whirlwind doing this, you know, let alone my first time traveling and then getting all the support and, uh, and just, you know, making videos every day, which is fun and amazing. Uh, and I just had to uh, kind of decompress when I came off the road. And right when I got here, Donna took me driving just around Sedona to see some things. And then that night we actually went to a movie. So I got here and then, you know, went and then went and went. And so I've been going actually since I've gotten here, which is great. It's so beautiful and it's so fun to see, um, to see Sedona. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to come on because there were a couple of things that people have asked me about and I didn't realize that I left people hanging with my story about uh, the steak. Yes, I did eat the steak, uh, but I asked for ketchup and I did not know that that was an insult to the chef. I mean, I didn't even know what filet mignon was, so I didn't know that. And if you don't know the story, uh, and then the guy from, he was the head of the meat department and I could see him slinking down in his chair and so I guess you're not surprised but we never went out again after that which is fine um and then somebody asked about the story about the teddy bear uh they saw it in the back and you know i forgot he's with me uh he's my i guess my riding partner now uh, i call him chuck uh, i couldn't figure out a name for him and then one day chuck just came and chuck came from so uh before I left, I worked for a nonprofit. It's called Joseph's Coat. It's in St. Paul on West 7th Street. And it's a free store. So anybody can come in. You know, our demographic is the homeless or you know people on hard times and with COVID especially. That happened a lot. And so it's all donation based. So people would donate things and then um, people could come in and shop for free. Uh, you can look it up you can google it so joseph's coat it's called and uh i was the head of the volunteers and i did a lot of other stuff but i worked there part-time for three years and we would get all these donations a lot of time they're brand new donations it's not just you know people bringing in their stuff uh, and chuck happened to come in and for some reason he was on my desk somebody had sent him back in the office and I don't know why, I just felt like I had to take him home. So I asked Cheryl, she's the director. I said, can I take this home? I just feel like he needs to come home with me. And she's like, yeah, sure. So I brought him home and he's been sitting on my bed and I guess sleeping with me ever since then. And I think it's been about a year. 
And when I was like getting rid of all my stuff at home, you know, I was selling stuff on Marketplace and giving it away. He was like one of the last things sitting there and I was almost gonna give him away and I'm like, there was something that just pulled me where I couldn't do it. And I'm glad that I didn't. So now he's with me and honestly at night, I'll like lay on him or hold him or whatever. And so he's, he's been comforting to me. And so, uh, yeah, so that's Chuck. That's the story of Chuck. Um, and speaking of stories, so, you know, I don't know every vlog, listen, I got more stories than I probably even have years left that I could tell, but so I'm kind of trying to go in sequence here and bring stuff up as I, you know, remember them, but, uh, so that you can learn a little bit about me. Um, so I wanted to be a police officer. That's what I wanted to be when I got out of high school. Uh, listen, this was 1984. I went to a small Catholic school. There was 100, I think 150 in my graduating class. And we had an advisor, uh, Mr. Simmons. I don't know whatever happened to him, but Mr. Simmons should not have been an advisor. Uh, when I said I wanted to be a police officer, he was like, Tracy, why don't you just go be a secretary? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the vote of confidence and the high hopes for us ladies. And, you know, I didn't know what he was telling other people. And so it's interesting because just two years ago, I ran into, uh, she used to be my teacher, actually, my home ec teacher. She taught me sewing. I actually, my mom is a master sewer. Uh, my mom is Joy. I put a video up before this so you could meet her. Uh, my mom was a master sewer. And so I took sewing and for our final project, we had to make a pair of pants and then wear them to school. Well, somehow <laughs> I miss, I don't know, measured the inseam. And so the crotch of these pants were like down to my mid thigh, uh, but I still wore them. It was my project. <laughs> So, um, I digress. So, uh, I had seen her and she told me, I don't know how we started talking about Mr. Simmons and whatever. I think I said, yeah, and he, you know, had real high hopes for me. And she said, well, Tracy, let me tell you, he told me and my sister that we were not college material. So we should just forego even thinking about college. So imagine having an advisor that is telling you this. And I'm sure he told the boys like, oh, go be an engineer, go be a CEO, go, 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 you know? So uh, it just really, you know, made me feel like not so alone, like, like he was, <laughs> didn't see anything in me that I could be, and there's nothing wrong with secretary. I did that, you know, I worked in a law firm. so. I wanted to be a police officer. And then my parents too were like, oh, Tracy, that's so dangerous. And I understand that they were just worried for me. Uh, but I, w I knew I wasn't a desk person. I was athletic. I played sports my whole life, softball, volleyball. Um, you know, so I knew I couldn't just like sit at a desk all day. You know, and that's what I ended up doing. But uh, so, Everybody's saying, oh, don't do that. You can't do that. Oh, you know, be a secretary. And so then I decided I went to school to be a paralegal. And I started at the University of Minnesota. They had a paralegal program. And we were in semesters back then. What are we in now? Or no, we were quarters. Now it's in semesters. So we had four quarters instead of, what is it, three semesters? Two semesters? Yeah, I don't know. It was quarters for me. <clears throat> And uh, so I went there and then right as I started school, they discontinued the paralegal program. Not sure why. And so then I started going to, it's called Inver Hills, it's community college and they had a paralegal program. And so I was going to both the U at the same time and Inver Hills. And so I do have a paralegal degree, a political science degree, and I took the LSAT I thought I wanted to be a lawyer, but after I worked for lawyers, I decided that's not what I wanted to do. It seemed more like 
college for me, like writing papers and stuff. And although I like to write, writing papers wasn't what I was into. Anyway, I've been a paralegal actually. I finally, finally, finally got out of the legal field uh, probably about three years ago. Um, I worked in family law, I worked in bankruptcy, and then I ended up in insurance defense for asbestos. So I'm sure there'll be more stories about that along the way. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's a story for me and uh, I'd like to hear from you. I, I know a lot of people are my age demographic. So did you have people, you know, telling you that you couldn't go to college or, you know, go be a housewife or go. And again, there's nothing wrong with a housewife, with a secretary. Like I said, I've been, I've been all of them. But, you know, if you have different visions for yourself that other people were holding you down. So there's my story. Uh, and this won't be the end of the video because we're going to the fun store when she comes back. But while I had some downtime and it was quiet, I thought I would sit and answer some questions and tell my story now. And just really thanks everybody for following. And, you know, I hope that you uh, can give me grace in this. And thanks so much for all the suggestions. And I wanna tell you too, you know, when I was having a beer those other nights, I, I only had, the most I had was two beers. So I was not drunk, I was not, you know, and believe me, I'm conscious of that, about drinking and driving and being in a situation like that is not the time to be drinking and get drunk. But I just needed my nerves to like, you know, mellow out. And so that's what I did. And then I responded to everybody. So that just helped me. But just know I would never like get drunk and especially knowing I'm in a situation like that. So I just wanted to clear that up too. Uh, and okay, I'm gonna let you go here because I'm gonna go um, update my check registers. And uh, then I'll feel good about that. And so I will be heading to the fun store and we're doing a couple more things today. So I'll videotape that and I will see you soon. So we're heading into the fun store and this is where we don't have these in Minnesota. Best prices, highest quality. <laughs> Let the fun begin. Yes. So I couldn't go in the cannabis store because I didn't have my ID with me. And Donna's like, what? And I'm like, well, I have a fanny pack. And it wasn't something I thought about. So you should have reminded me. So, Donna's in there, it's cash only. I gave her some cash. Hopefully she'll come up with the goods and <laughs> see what she gets me. And we'll be back here. So I'll be able to go in another day and check it out. But that's what happened. There's Dustin. We got the goods. We got the shit. I could Man, not. We got the shit. Totes. <laughs> I feel like I'm in high school again. Uh, I didn't know that that's, it came in like, and I, we so she said here. that you're so. supposed to tip while I'm filming right now. Oh, okay. So. Yes, tip and round up for the food gummy. shelf. Yeah, so <laughs> at the our, cannabis store. Our our civic <laughs> duty. Yes, exactly. Now we'll go home and we're, do our personal we're, duty. We're givers, yep, exactly. And, and those three were 50, $4? Well, 54 and then um, you have a 10% tip. And then how much was tax? $11? $11. $11 tax. So there you go. My first time at a cannabis store. We don't have those in Minnesota. So see what we can get in tonight. We're going to we're gonna go. We're going to make hippie jewelry tonight. <laughs> <laughs> do we eat, eat a, a necklace? I don't know if we're going to eat a couple gonna... of gummies.